So it's Monday morning and welcome to Vilanessa. I just want to show you, you know, the struggles I have to go through in the morning. And as you can see, it is dark out. It is like probably five minutes after five. And this is how I wake up every morning out on the road while everybody is sleeping to get a bus and as it the place is dark the place is wet look everywhere in darkness I woke up from 4 30 and because I had everything prepared the night before I can just go in the shower ready and head out so yeah so I'll catch you back in a bit. So <laughs> I have to turn back because I left my lunch bag. Would you believe that? The struggle is real. Luckily I didn't reach far. <sighs> oh boy. This is the first time I'm actually leaving it. And I guess it's because I had a vlogging in mind. So Never to appreciate this video, like literally, never to appreciate it because <laughs> I've started all the way back now. Right, so this sign said no dumping, right? No dumping. I look on him, he garbage beside it. Tell me now, people can so Richard. Anyway, I got my lunch kit and now I'm off. It's now. 5.15, I am still early, that's good. I really want to reach before everybody so that I can do some vlogs, yeah. Alright, so first I put open the place because I'm the first one here. Turn on the AC, turn on the lights, sanitize the place because I know the COVID protocol. And then look about breakfast, which I'm here breakfast now back already. And um, get ready for 7 o'clock, you know? So that's pretty much how the day goes and then we do some data entry thing. Yeah. Alright guys, guys, so I'm just reach home. And we just want to stop in with you. We buy a party because we feel hungry. Not only that, we buy a party for your breakfast tomorrow morning. Party and cocoa bread. We just feel for party. You know, they waited a long time in the eat party, so we just feel for a party. And um, this morning, when I was videoing, or I thought I was recording something. Nothing that I record. Only a piece left. So we have to do that part tomorrow. But this is the end of Monday. And I'm going to shower because my heart and nasty. We can't even touch a bread. We just feel like we just buy a piece of the party. You know the way that? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do some assignments and go over my neighbor house because the kids them over there alone. So I'm going to just check on them. Alright, so I'm just going to explain before we go any further. So as you know from the previous video before, I've been doing some temporary job and Really and truly, I did not apply for no job. I was looking no job. Just that somebody needed help in the uh, office, and I went and I did three weeks. And after I did that, I got to do my exam. And then somebody called that same person, saying that they want someone to work for two weeks. And the person recommended me, and uh, I took it because guess what? I'm home, not doing nothing, just school. So I went. So basically, this vlog is just a work vlog. I'm temporarily working for a company, they do registry and all those stuff, they registry, they trade registry and I was placed in Jubilee Hospital and also I've been back and forth with the downtown office, right? So I've been doing that for the past two weeks, my last day is Wednesday, even though I said it was Friday, I thought it was Friday but I called, I got a call saying that is Wednesday. So I'm going to work up until Wednesday. Now yesterday when I was coming home, I got a call saying that they want to permanently hire me for that position. However, I turned it down. 
Yes, I know many of you may be asking why I didn't take the position, why it's a good opportunity and whatnot. But you see, I have a saying, I actually come up with this yesterday. And I'm saying, yes, you must be humble, but also know your worth. And I believe that as it relates to my qualification, my experience, you know, that position doesn't really suit me. And I know I have a bigger God. And for me to say that I'll be limiting God and limiting myself. So I turned down the offer and I don't feel bad about it. I am glad because guess what? That's me leaving room for greater and bigger opportunity. I am not hungry. I am not dying. I'm not desperate, you know. So I turned on the offer. So I, I am just saying that yes, I know that time is hard you must know your situation you must know you know what you can do you must know if if the first offer comes to you you're going to grab it or what but no not me that wasn't me that totally wasn't me i wasn't going to say that and i don't want to say that it's prideful no i am very humble i also know my work so i'm not going to just take any in the position no that's for a person without safety and all those stuff I ain't gonna do it and I don't think it's feasible for me to leave it all the way from here you know waking up four o'clock in the morning to go to town which is not safe I have to be looking back front upside down everywhere just to see that I am safe nobody's snatching anything from me you know my safety is priority and if I don't feel that I am getting paid enough for putting my life in danger and I'm not going to take the job so I turn it down you know if I was getting money like real amount of money then maybe I can think about it and I just don't have that patient no I don't think it's worth it it's not worth it worth it to wake up four o'clock right basically it's a it's a um the position that they're offering is um office attendant and you know what that means that means anything they call on you to do you do it and they want you to clean up the office everything about you and everything and i don't have no problem doing that right but no that is not where my qualification lies if it was in america then i would do it because i know that i'm getting paid so that's basically it so don't limit yourself shoot for the start and yeah trust god and that's basically the vlog i hope you enjoyed it and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe if you like the vibes you know hit me up in the comments let me say i love the vibes and if you want a shout out let me know so that i can shout you out so the shout out for this week is ygmm and the meaning for that is young jamaican mother motivator so you guys should just go on over to your channel show her some love tell her that next song be Lanessa, say new, yes, I'm still getting to that. Yes, I'm still getting into that. I just changed your name. Yeah, be Lanessa, guys, not Nessa's word anymore. Be Lanessa. So go on over to YJMM, tell her that be Lanessa, send you, and say something nice. Watch our video, you know, subscribe if you like it, like up the video, you understand? Yes, so thank you and continue to watch the video. Hey guys, good morning. Today's Tuesday. I um, look out for porridge yesterday because I felt some porridge so that's for breakfast today. Um, I'm going to have breakfast and party because I have party yesterday, you guys know that. So yeah, um, it's now 4.35. So after this, I'm just going to pack my bags, shower and then it's ready and leave so mm, I wish I could sleep some more that much I can tell you I wish I could literally sleep some more but yeah so before anything I just shower spread my bed because you have to spread your bed you know you can't just be out of the house and not spread your bed so I'm full of a blanket no matter how late I am, I have to spread my bed. Now, this is just simple. 
go far of limiting myself for this. So I'll put some water in my head. I'm going to use this blueberry place. Yeah. I'm supposed to twist it all, but no thank you. Just have to rub a little bit in there. Hey guys, so I reached work and um, when I got here I was a bit late, not late but a bit later than what I normally get here because I like to come here before everybody so I can just do what I have to do first but then um, my co-worker was here so I never really get to vlog no more mm -hmm. and we just tied up the place and organized everything. Now she gone out to do some outreach thing to talk to the baby mothers and then I'm just waiting on her so I can go upstairs and do some registration and then come back down to do the death registry. Um, you know when person say thank God it's Friday, I am just saying you know, thank God it's Thursday because you know after Thursday it's Friday and to tell you the truth, I'm so over this. Can't be bothered to get up every morning, every morning <laughs> to go to work. <laughs> Those are mm -mm, can't manage. All right, so guys, I'm here waiting on a mother to come to do registration, and they're not here yet. So that's basically it. Um, my co-worker going to call some more mothers, but Miss Riley decided it take a long while. So I'm just there you are looking at the camera. You know, let's say, say we keep on a look looking because we're not supposed to be the funny phone. <laughs> but you know, I have to come to you guys, especially to, today is the somewhat the last, not really the last day, but almost the last day. So I'm gonna try and get some content in today because we don't really have none. And yeah, this is going to be a very boring, boring vlog. Boring vlog. But I can't wait till Friday, like literally, one sleep and just can't wait for the work. Just can't wait to start waking up before I'm not gonna do it. And get a more permanent assistant job. No? I didn't get any card, no paper for it. In middle of you, say, oh, you're fine, you get the, the mother. <laughs> when you have baby, it's dirty. Which is the 11th, right? Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is the name? I want to tell me the name. I'm going to tell you the name. Confused so I'm gonna just leave that out then. Yeah, How can I sex of the baby? Him come feel name, open it, yeah. then we can have the nigga name, right? Eh? Sex of the baby? Yeah. Yeah. Um you married? No. Okay. So which file? Can you have to reach the front time say you go? We say I'm gonna go for different kind of work. Thirty eight. We say not have any. Do all different kind of work. Where do you know what to do? We are the no cash part. Right, they're like. So, that's what's the age? One new cash part. Precious Lord, leave me home. Oh, yes, Lord. Precious Lord, take my hands. Leave me home. Understand. I am tired. Alright, guys, so. Um, me, yeah, we get to leave out early today. Thank God we leave like one part or so because we finish the radio and the other office and we have no reason to stay there. So I'm in Spanish town now and going home. Rain just come down suddenly. Just come down suddenly. But yeah, I'm in a taxi now.
Now somewhat like what? Um, Spanish town park look like. Can't really show you much. Yeah, so I'm in here and I'm playing one bag of music, dance and music. Just turn it down. Don't turn it off because I'm really into them something. But tomorrow is going to be my last day doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, I'll get um, a position that suit my qualification. Everybody loves me so far. Everybody wants me to be the company and all those stuff. So it's good when you um, show them that you know why they need to hire you. Even though that was not even my intention, you know, I was just there for the two weeks to do what they are paying me. I don't think it's pain. I don't think it's nothing. You know? So um I just do what I have to do because oh, if we get our work mega just complete it, or whatever. And that's what they say that they realize with me that um <coughs> Pause that here. Yeah, so them say they realize that I don't really come to play and I don't really we get the job done. now I'm back in we just don't show up <laughs> I've been on the toilet for probably that's too much information anyway yeah so I am inside and I went to pay my bill because due to oh <laughs> they want to tell me say yo more than money for money and me know what I'm disconnected so I can upload my video you know as promised don't watch me here and thing watch it yesterday so everything shrink up it look like an anger, don't but believe you me it's growing like literally it's growing so we'll do an update on that as i said i did a video for that and um when i finished i realized that there was no audio and we never really want to do no voiceover because i was talking in there and that would look weird you know me talking but yet still I am doing a voiceover so i'm gonna do our next video in my next wash day because what i did i washed it and i blow dry it i didn't want to do it this week or the other week because i really don't want to use too much heat in my hair i really want it to grow healthy so yes and another thing you know that person people can be so inconsiderate and i just, I don't know if they don't know that how they treat people, how they live their life will affect them later on. Because I don't understand. I really don't understand. I I know that they probably not even going to watch this, but we have some neighbors, right? Some neighbor. And about a month and a half, I've been complaining. No more than one time, but about two months. Um, they got two dogs, right? And you know that person normally either them have the tight the dog um loose in the yard or them have it tied to the back of the yard, right? Because based on how the houses are um set up, you know, um it, the dog wouldn't be at somebody's bedroom if you understand. But that neighbor decided to put the dog the dog um right at some right on my head like literally you switch from my bed there and show the window there the dog they right the sun right and this is two months ago right and i made complain and say yo i sleep very light if i pain drop i go feel i go hear it and i go wake up with my sleep and plus i had trouble sleeping um back then i had to take sleeping pills like i can't even show you i got prescription to show I had to take sleeping pills and I stopped taking them so thank God because I never really want to lift pump pill because them say um, pills right near bone. So they're two left. God is so good, God break me from this. 
but I told them that I had problems sleeping not only that I had problems sleeping um, I cannot sleep through night noise it's mongrel everybody knows say mongrel mongrel um, bark a lot and I'm wondering if the noise in the background are going to get copyright so I said I'm going to pause it so I'm going to have this long length of music anyway I'm going to care anyway it's not like I'm getting paid anyway from YouTube so I had you know mongrel dog they had they have two mongrel well they had two mongrel dogs and everybody know mongrel dog all them know a bark especially if somebody walking past them bark 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 especially if them tired them just a bark 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 and in the night especially me don't know if they're a walk or something but them them bark non-stop you hear them okay all right so me tell the man say all right we cannot sleep and if i even at night time let go the dog them you know because once them tight yeah if if they even bark somewhere else or bark around the house you know one and two time wouldn't so bad but the fact that them just tie one spot and they just have bark 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 i cannot take it anyway then we had a little argument and they decided to pull them for a bit right them even at all so them are dash the dog and all them all the person there and then pull the dog for a bit right no I was okay. I started sleeping. As I said, I come off of the sleeping pill. Me good, me good, me good. Now, two weeks ago, I missed them and build up something. And I need a step because there's a step there. And in my mind, I could never dog house them. I put there after I done complain about it, right? And me did them and watch them, me and watch them, me and watch them. And two days ago, I sleep and I hear puppy. Uh, in a million years. I say yo, I can't believe it. So and then not only that, you know, them get another dog panta right? So we not only two mongrel dog, it's three mongrel dog plus some puppy. I may say yo, them people yeah. that's why people kill people dog. And them start the lick the woman over there start cussing and going and whatever whatever whatever. I may say yo, it can't be so selfish. Not because it not affect you, because for them medium they all the way over the other side, you know. So them not hear it. I mean, I say not because it not affect you, you must be considered a person around you. I mean, I say, yo, like, really? Me get up 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And 2 o'clock, me I jump out of my bed because of the dog. 1 o'clock, me I jump out, of, jump, jump out of my bed because of the dog. That fear? That is not fear. If I ever just leg the dog them at night time, because I don't see the sense you have dog, but if you watch the yard and you tie them up, if me a thief now and me see dog tie up, I don't just go in the yard and do it, I don't come back out. The dog them tie up, the dog them have no chance to run down nobody here and behind nobody. What sense that make? Anyway, that is that. And then the worst thing too, you know, the worst thing, the worst thing about it is that Miss them move the dog, not the first time I may complain, they move the dog at the front of the yard and tie him at the front of the dog. And me witness in the night then come and pull the dog because guess what? The dog them may come nice after them head. But no, because I don't feel them head no. Them 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 put the dog yes and them. You know when them have, they have the nerve to tell me? I feel them yard and them can't do anything with them yard. But not that. They send them a nice text yesterday. I'm mean, gonna tell them I'm gonna make a complaint. Or I'm gonna go to the police or something. Let them jail them up or something. Or better yet me take matters now or not. Mm-hmm. But anyway. That is my little update. Um, the the vlog today wasn't really much. As I said, I, I'm not supposed to be, you know, vlogging because of person personal information, and you know, you're not supposed to do those stuff. But I hope you're enjoying it. I don't know, it seems boring to me. But nevertheless, I tried. I did what I had to do. I did what I wanted to do. Or I did. I did what I said I would do. That's all that matters, I guess. Eventually, I have some more action in my life. And I think um, the job, as I was saying in the car, you know, I probably get a permanent job because they love how I work. And the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a small position, it was like, 
it's like the bottom the word not the worst but the bottom position and to know that i have this qualification and experience and doing that you know they're looking at it and say yo this girl is very humble and humble but also oh, your worth. so i think it's it's a possibility that i may get a job there and to me it's neither here nor there to me you know we just want whatever god is doing in my life to be fulfilled and we know he might do something and if i am to work there i will work there if i will not to work there then i don't then i'm not going to work there but yeah until then I'll catch you later for your financial accounts as well as the same amount of inflow from your current accounts you will experience because it will be balanced you will experience a general appreciation but i think the important thing i think the thing that i should have focused on here was talking about the surplus of the current accounts right so in other words if you have a lot of foreign exchange inflow generally that is going to increase your appreciation at the same time if you simultaneously so in other words if you have the same amount of inflow and outflow um for your for your foreign exchange it would then cause a general appreciation because your balance of payments um, would have been balanced and stabilized right so if so what can cause an appreciation of your currency is when you have um an excess of um foreign currency exchange Accenter, accent is a good girl. Accent, accent. You met accent yesterday. What do you mean? Which accent? Oh, for and for accent, I think. No, no, look how much accent. That's why I asked which accent. Um, the one with the U. One brown one. You know why? Hmm. What about that? You know my baby. Mhm. No, I'm telling you, I'm a friend. Okay. So, you know, you have a baby. Mm hmm. You know, Adley? Mm hmm. You know, say Adley. May I picture with Adley? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Brax went to just a long time before she was she, she pregnant. Oh, I forget to say that Brax and Chuck. You got your Brax and Chuck. No, Brax and Chuck. <laughs> it's Friday. I am so bad. Like, we really want to be tired. Tired to the max. You hungry? I want to sleep. <laughs> And then probably two me go eat the party too. Egg give me nigga right is. <laughs> it's Friday. You leave early? Mm -hmm. You better leave exactly, you know. You better do your work, you know? Mm -hmm. You leave early. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. You better do them for <laughs> So you better do your work them for no. <laughs> When you reach 3 o'clock. Okay, come on. What do you think you do? When you reach 3 o'clock, I'm going to find the bus. <laughs> and the chicken here jerk. <laughs> I just reached home from work and I'm going to wash because guess what? Tomorrow I just want to relax and just focus on schoolwork. So I'm going to wash and I'm going to clean the place is dirty. And um, this I have to wash all that i have to wash and it's just one week just one week right up close because i washed last friday and why this is a lot for just one day and i think i may have to ring so about the, the stuff that i wash friday not all of them some of them because some of them never dry properly so that's what i'm gonna do right now and then i'm gonna come back and edit this video and hope that i can put it out by sunday 
yes if you get it sunday you reach this far in the video don't forget to like share and subscribe you know hit the notification bell and then send your friend over tell a friend to tell a friend to come over and all those stuff and thank you for stopping by at vlanessa mm.